Are you having trouble finding information on how to install your Garmin Striker 4 GPS fish finder rudder mounted on your kayak? Look no further. This is how to fish and I'm going to show you how to do it. Quick disclaimer, this video is for information purposes only. If you don't feel comfortable with tools or drilling into your kayak, please consult a professional. I really like this GPS fish finder because it is inexpensive. It's about $90 compared to everything else that's on the market. However, I did have a lot of trouble finding information on how to rudder mount it since I have a Hobie Passport kayak. It's almost like it has a double hull the way it's manufactured. So you can't use the Garmin in-haul kit because the transducer will not get a proper signal. And so it's just a waste of money. I tried it at first, called up Garmin and it just didn't work. So I wanted a really clean signal for the transducer. That's why I wanted to rudder mount it. You can mount it other ways such as through the scupper hole, but we're not gonna cover that today. I bought the Hobie rudder mounting kit, which is about 25 to $30. It works exactly for the Lawrence transducer, which is a little smaller than the Garmin transducer, but that's not gonna stop us. You'll need a drill, a one inch spade bit or hole saw, some small drill bits. I'll let you know the size at the specific step. Screwdriver, marine goop, zip ties, in-haul wiring kit. Doesn't matter which one, I use both Yak Attack and Wilderness Systems for this install. There are three bolts included in the rudder mount kit, two long, one short. Take one of the long bolts and the left side clamp and insert the bolt through both the left side clamp and the transducer mounting hole. You can then secure the left side clamp to the transducer by tightening one of the nuts that comes with the kit. Now you have one side of the clamp secured to the transducer. The next step is to figure out where to place the transducer relative to the top of the rudder. After trial and error, I found the best location is to put the transducer 6 inches from the top of the rudder so that the transducer does not affect your steering. Please note, at the time of the filming, the transducer was placed about 8 inches relative to the top of the rudder. Using a 3 16 inch drill bit, drill a hole in the position of the highest mounting hole on the left side clamp. Align your right side clamp with a hole you just made and insert the shortest bolt through the left side clamp, the rudder, and now should be on the right side. Take the nylock nut from the kit, insert it into the right side clamp. It should be in contact with the bolt. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten the bolt from the left side clamp. Now your transducer should be partially clamped to the rudder. Drill a hole through the second highest clamp mounting hole and repeat the same steps as before. Your transducer is now firmly attached to your rudder. If you're finding that this video is helping you so far, please give a like. Using a 3 16 inch drill bit, drill two holes above the transducer rudder clamp to be able to zip tie the transducer wiring along the rudder so it doesn't interfere with your steering. Using the Yak Attack in-haul wiring kit and a one inch spade bit to make a hole for your transducer at the tail of your kayak. Rough positioning is fine. Make sure to put the rudder in its rest position and make sure your transducer won't interfere with the hole you're about to drill. Use the grommet labeled A, 0.166 inch diameter hole for the transducer wire. Make a 45 degree angle cut from the bottom half of the grommet to the wire hole. Don't make a 90 degree cut, it is not recommended by Yak Attack in order to have a proper watertight seal. You'll be sealing the other half of the housing with the grommet F, which is a blank grommet without a hole. Take the housing and center it over the hole you just drilled. Once aligned, use a 1 16th inch drill bit and drill a pilot hole on each side of the housing using the housing mounting holes as guides. Use a long thin wire and secure it around the transducer wire. Feed the thin wire and transducer wire through the housing, the one inch hole you created at the tail end of the kayak, all the way through to the front of the kayak. Take your letter A grommet and your F grommet and insert it into the housing. 
you can now use the included screws in the in-haul wiring kit and screw them through the pilot holes you created to secure the housing to the kayak. Congratulations if you made it this far, there's not much left to do. I used a different in-haul housing kit at the front of the kayak, but you don't need to. It's not because one is better than the other, it's what I had available at the time. This is the Wilderness Systems in-haul wiring kit. So the first thing you need to do is use a spade bit or a hole saw that's one and a quarter inch in diameter and make a hole through the sidewall of your kayak. I position the hole right in front of the accessory mounting track of my kayak. The grommet you will use has two holes, one for the transducer signal wire you just fed through the whole kayak and one for the transducer power cable that you will feed through later on. Take both the power and signal wires and feed them through the sidewall hole you just created. Then insert the wires through the grommet and the housing kit. This housing kit is threaded and is secured to the sidewall by screwing on a nut on the inside wall. Before securing the housing, make sure to add a layer of marine goop around the housing for a watertight seal. I also added marine goop to the yak attack housing on the tail end of the kayak as well. Now that the basic installation is complete, let me show you how I mount the Garmin Striker 4 on my kayak. I attached the Garmin adjustable attachment head, which is included with your fish finder, to a Scotty fish finder mount. I then secured the fish finder mount to a Scotty gearhead adapter, and that's it. Comment below if you have questions, or you can DM me at how to fish on Instagram. If you found this video useful, follow, like, and subscribe for more how-tos and fishing action.